strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic-Tac-Toe. And now, here's our host, Clint Martindale. Thank you, Charlie O'Donnell. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much, and welcome to our show. Let's say hello to our current champion right here. She became the champion on the last show, and a librarian, Charlie, and am I right? Our current champion is a librarian, and her interest includes singing and skydiving. Her winnings total in cash, $1,100, made Margaret Case. And her opponent is a former policeman who now works as a loss prevention agent. His interests include backpacking and the guitar, made Jim Jenkins. Jim Jenkins, what is a loss prevention agent? Is that what he's Loss prevention agent. I work for a major department store, and basically what we do is we apprehend shoplifters, and we train other employees to identify security risks in the store. Is it true that if a, a shoplifter is outside the field, subjects are big and little, jump in category, chemistry, TV cops, dropouts, player pass, foreign words, trivia dare, and the stage. Okay, the pot is worth to this point. So we have money in the pot? Yeah, $1,700. All right. Bill, would you start, please? Well, let's start with dropouts in the center link. Dropouts, two-parter, worth $300 addition to that pot. This labor leader left school at 14 to help support his family, Bill. Within four years, he was head of his own local union, and in 1957, he became the head of America's most powerful union. In 1975, he mysteriously disappeared without a trace. First, I want you to name the labor leader and then name the union he led. I'll let you think about it for a few seconds. Bill, name the labor leader I described. Hoffa. Yes, name the union Hoffa led. The Teamsters. Right, you have the center box. <laughs> so we put an X there. The pot now worth $2,000 as we shuffle. Giselle, game two. Here we go. <clears throat> um, I'll take TV cops. Television cops. The question is this. Giselle, for several seasons, this actress played Sergeant Pepper Anderson, a sexy undercover cop for the Los Angeles Police Department in the series, called Police Woman. Name the actress. Angie Dickinson. You got it. You have an O up there in TV cops. That was $200 in the pot of these couple. <laughs> well, you're both very serious about this, Bill. Let's go with big and little. Big and little it shall be. Lots of money at stake and growing with every correct answer. Astronomers believe that our universe is constantly expanding and contracting, with each cycle lasting about 80 billion years. They have a big name to describe their theory. What is that theory called? The Big Bang. Right, the Big Bang Theory. Big and little, Big and Bang. Theory. Let's put it next there. Let's shuffle again. <laughs> Playing for $2,400, Giselle. Well, player pass for the block. Okay, the way this works, I'll read you a question, and you either answer it or pass it up for the next question. It's perfect. It's flawless. It goes on evenly. It's good color. It's not orange. It's street in the world. Is Lombard Street in Paris, San Francisco, or Zurich? San wanna... Francisco. San Francisco, right. I didn't even have to ask you. If you wanted to take that one or the next one. So you have the block, $2,600 in the pot. We'll be back to continue Tic Tac Go with Bill and Giselle in just a moment. And pliers won't grip, ratchets won't click, and wrenches won't fit. You just have to quit. No way. Introducing the Squeeze Wrench. It works in virtually any space and fits any place. Look, in this tight space, an ordinary wrench can't movable price. What is it, Charlie? It's a brand new car. The Eagle Wagon comes with luxury features like air conditioning, AMFM stereo, tinted glass and roof rack, plus the confidence of Select Drive, the all-service four-wheel drive system furnished by American Motors. And now, back to you, Wake. And Bill, if you beat Giselle, you got one of those coming. It would be your fifth consecutive win. Okay, back to the board. $2,600 in the box. We shuffle the categories and Bill, select, please. It's chemistry to block. To block Giselle, Bill, answer this. These white crystals, which are usually called salts, are actually a form of the chemical magnesium sulfate. When mixed with warm water, they make a soothing solution for soaking in flame parts of the body. These salts are named after a spa in England. For a block, name those salts. Sodium. No, Epsom salts. Epsom salts. 
We still have one, two, three, four, five boxes left. We shuffle. Giselle, it is your turn to make a selection. Uh, looks like dropouts. If you answer this question correctly on dropout, Giselle, you will become our new tic-tac-toe champion. And for that, we would pay you $2,800. <laughs> Here's your question. Listen carefully. This tough guy actor was the son of wealthy socialite parents. But he kept getting dismissed from private schools, so he joined the Marines. After the service, acting in movies like Cat Ballou and The Dirty Dozen made him famous. For Tic-Tac-Doe and $2,800, name him. Lee Marvin. You win. <laughs> We got a new champion in these parts, huh? Giselle Perez is our new champion. How are you feeling, champ? Great. Feeling good. Did you have any doubt about the answer? Um, no. No doubt whatsoever. Okay, you have the vertical tic-tac-toe, and we will award you a check to this point for $2,800. We'll play the dragon in just a moment. Well, Bill, it's been a good run for you on Tic-Tac-Doe. You came on, and I mean, remember early on, first show, you said, gee, I just wanted to win a game or two, and <laughs> you did considerably better than that. Have you enjoyed your uh, stay around here? Oh, it's been perfect. It's been nuts. You've been a lot of fun to us, and uh, you leave us with $13,050 in cash and prizes. Thank you very much, and enjoy your trip. Giselle, you come on over here and join me. You have reason to be excited. He was a good champ, and let's see how well you do now versus the dragon. Behind the numbers, we have a lot of different numbers, nine of them. And, of course, different denominations of cash. We have a tick and a tack up there somewhere. And hidden somewhere behind one of the nine numbers is that thing. The idea is to beat him. Let's beat him. And first, before we do anything else, let's listen to Charlie and see what you can win if you do beat the dragon. Giselle, each of these gifts features moving parts that will help keep you on the move. First, Giselle, when you want to dance, just spin a platter on this top-quality stereo. Hitachi's integrated black rack stereo system, soft-touch dual cassette tape deck, two-way high-grown cone speakers and graphic equalizer set in richly finished hickory grain cabinet from Hitachi. Then, when you want to get out of the house, turn your laundry chores over to this automatic washer and dryer. Enjoy complete washing flexibility with this rugged variable speed Gibson Washmaster automatic washer designed to save you time and energy and a matching automatic dryer with four independent temperature selections and Gibson's vacuum dry system for energy efficient drying power. Next, driving is that much easier when you have the aid of this reliable garage door opener. Alistair's professionally installed garage door opener system radio controls from the safety, comfort and convenience of your car from Alistair. And finally, as you sell after a night on the town, you'll know when it's time to head home because of the fine jeweled movement of this elegant diamond watch. <laughs> Elegantly styled by Jules Jurgensen. This lady's 17 jewel petite, 14 carat white gold timepiece set with six fiery diamonds totaling three eighths of a carat. Simplistic cord attachment, beautifully gift box. This moving parts package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,750. So let's get those moving parts moving. Cover them up and move them around. Take a look at that board. By the way, anybody in the audience representing you? No. Give her some uh, advice, folks. Some good advice. How about it, huh? What would you like to see Giselle move? Your first move is going to be where, Giselle? Nine. Number nine. And behind number nine, we have found $500. It looks so easy to this point. Six. Number six. Above the 500, could it be another 500 for a win? We'll take that, though. It'll ship for $500. Price package worth over $3,750. Seven. Number seven, way over there on the far corner, bottom left, 150. Takes you up to $650. What's your pleasure? One, two, three, four, five, eight. Five. Five it is. In the center, $350 to give it to you. 250 a little bit short. <laughs> you need a hundred dollars or tick. Number one, a hundred dollars or tick, and she's got the prize package. And that's the wrong one. Sorry about that. So that left two, three, and four. Where was it? We needed tick. That's all. Tick there. There's that hundred dollars you needed behind number two, or rather number three. Tick behind two. But you still have a nice, uh, tidy sum of money from your first win as our champion. Two thousand eight hundred dollars in cash. Giselle, move over there and let's get a new game underway, shall we? Let's see how this champ fares against this next contestant. Who's it going to be, Charlie? Wink, he's an advertising executive whose interests include travel and the cello meets Glenn Legs. Hello, 
Glenn. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to our show. You've met Giselle. She's our new champion around here. Tell us a little bit about your work. Uh, well, I'm a vice president account supervisor, uh, and I manage the advertising of my, of my clients from the initial uh, copywriting through the uh, production of, of commercials. You just do it all there, don't you? I try to. Yeah. What do you do in your spare time? You have something? Well, whenever I have it, I uh, like to play the cello. In fact, I even once considered being a professional musician. Mm -hmm. What happened? Well, early on, I decided, li I decided that I'd like to eat, so uh, that went, <laughs> went away. I once took uh, cello lessons, I guess about, oh, I don't know, 20 years ago. I gave them up. I couldn't get the thing under my chin. <laughs> you know what I mean? Have you ever tried that? Have you ever tried trying to play in a cello? Very big. Just bringing you along, Glenn. Let's play some tic-tac-toe, shall we? Glenn, All right. Giselle, take a look at the board. We're dealing with subjects like suitable titles, top ten, art, animal songs, military leaders, challenge category, movies, auction, and where are you? Giselle, we're ready if you are. Well, I'm a real movie freak. I'm going to have to go for that. Movies? All right. Here's your question. First look at this picture, Giselle. This actress is shown here in her role portraying another famous movie star. Name the film. Uh, Mommy Dearest. <laughs> That's right. She's Faye Dunaway. The film, Mommy Dearest. Faye Dunaway <laughs> in her role as Joan Crawford. Almost got you there with the buzzer. Right. Put an X there. Let's shuffle. Glenn, back to you with a $200 pot. See if you can add some money up there. Uh, let's try movies. Going to go with movies. All right. Take a look at this picture, Glenn. This box contains a creature that was the subject of a hit film in 1984. Name the film. Gremlins. Right. Gremlins gives you $200 to the pot. And put the no on the board. $400 pot. We're going to take a break. Glenn, Giselle, we'll be right back in just a moment. Though. Biggest names in comedy. Martin Moore. Chris Tucker. Jamie Foxx. Are in the house. Chris Rock. D.L. Hughley. Steve Harvey. On break up the conversation over there. Let's get back to winning money here. Okay, $400 to pot. We shuffle. Giselle? Giselle, Chris, our current champion. Pick one. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to go for where are you? Where are you? Question. Giselle, it's 1967, and you're in this European city watching as workmen tear down an old stone bridge, which has stood for more than 135 years. They're taking the bridge apart very carefully because they plan to put it back together again in Arizona. In what European city are you? London. Right. It was the famous London Bridge. <laughs> now stands in Lake Havasu, Arizona. Thank you. Where are you? Put an X there. Let's shuffle. In the pot, $600. Glenn, your turn. Uh, top 10 to block, please. Top 10 category. You both get to play now. Whichever of you gives the answer, which ranks higher on the list, will win the box. Of course, uh, Glenn, you need this for a vertical block of Giselle. This top 10 question is on movie stars movie stars. According to a poll of theater owners, who were the top ten stars that brought in the most cash at the box office in 1984? Our list comes from the Quigley Publications poll. Who were the top ten stars that brought in the most cash at the box office in 1984? Glenn, what is your answer? Remember, you're going for a block of Giselle. Uh, I'll go with Clint Eastwood. You have the top answer. You have the block. Oh, wow. Giselle, I think I read your lips. Is that the one you were going to go for? No, I wasn't. Who were you going to go for? Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, were you? Yeah, well, uh, let's see. Where is Eddie Murphy? Uh-oh. <laughs> He's number four on the list. Yeah, here they are from 10 through 1. 10 was Meryl Streep, 9, Dan Aykroyd, Prince, 8, Robert Redford, 7, Burt Reynolds, 6, Sally Fields, 5, Wink Martindale. No, it's Eddie Murphy, 4, Harry, I'm a dreamer. Harrison Ford, 3, Bill Murray, 2, and Clint Eastwood, the top answer. So we put an O there, and we move the categories around. $800 in the pot. Giselle, select, please. Art in the center. This time you need to block Glenn with a horizontal X in that center box. Two-parter worth $300. I'll name some famous artists, and you name their native countries, all right? One, name the country that was home to sculptor Alexander Calder and painter Jackson Pollock. Two, name the country that was home to sculptor Henry Moore and painter Thomas Gainsborough. Think about those for a few seconds. Giselle going for a block. Name the country that was home to sculptor Alexander Calder and painter James Pollock. The United or Jackson Pollock. The United States. Yes. Uh, name the country that was home to sculptor Henry Moore and painter Thomas Gainsborough, and you'll have a block. Great Britain. Right. England. Great Britain. United Kingdom. Thank you. So we place the next there. Good match between Giselle and Glenn. Four boxes left. $1,100 in the pot. Glenn, select, please. 
Uh, let me see. I'll go suitable titles to block. Okay. For a diagonal block of Giselle, answer this on suitable titles. The 1977 Randy Newman song called Short People could have been the suitably titled theme song for these little folks who aided Dorothy on her journey through the land of Oz. For a block, name those short people. Munchkins. Right. You have the block. <laughs> suitable titles. Put it over there. Three boxes left. $1,300 pot. Let's move the categories around. We find suitable titles, military leaders, and art, Giselle, from which to select. Oh, looks like uh, military leaders in the corner. Okay, if you answer this question correctly on military leaders, Giselle, you will have a diagonal tic-tac-toe. Your second win would pay you $1,500. When we add that to your $2,800, that would take your total to $4,300. Here's your question. One of ancient Rome's most famous generals described his nine-year campaign to conquer Gaul in a book called Commentaries on the Gaelic War. For Tic-Tac-Doe in $4,300, name him. Julius Caesar? You have Tic-Tac-Doe. Ah. Very good. Oh, God. We did it again. Get another chance at the board. <laughs> Diagonal Tic-Tac-Doe, military leaders worth how much? $1,500 added oh. to the cash that you had won. You now are up to four thousand three hundred dollars. Giselle Ferrer, by oh continuing champion, your second win. Then it was a good match, good game for you. You had her blocked there, and then she came up there. Did you notice that, by the way, that she could go for that? I didn't know. I didn't either. <laughs> you caught it just in time. All right. But Glenn, uh, she caught you there and beat you. But we do have a couple of nice parting gifts and our thanks for being Thank with us. Thank you. We'll be back in just a moment. The stakes are high, so it pays to go slow. I'm on the show as a contender, and now she is a champion. Uh, she was talking about uh, the fact that she was a writer, and you're working on a very special project these days, and I thought you might remind everybody of that for people who weren't watching. I'm working on a project on um, my family's ethnic background, which is Creole, and I hope to make it into a documentary film, and with my winnings here, I'll have a good start. Yeah, and are you from Louisiana? Yeah, I was born in New Orleans. Yeah. New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans, Louisiana. Well, you haven't had much luck against the dragon. Maybe we'll do something about that on the very next show. Uh, Forty-three hundred dollars. Will all of that go into your uh, documentary project, or? Well. <laughs> Maybe she'll pay a little Mastercard. Maybe a little Bank of America. Something like that. But the rest of it will go to that project. Giselle, delightful meeting you, and congratulations on becoming our new champion. And we'll see you on the next show. We'll play the dragon. Thanks. Wish you luck there. Thank you very much, everybody, for being with us on Tic Tac Doe. We hope you'll join us again next time. Please tell your friends, and we'll see you next time. I'm Rick Carson, Dad. Goodbye. Some of our departing contestants will receive rich, creamy Heath ice cream bars with crunchy toffee tidbits mixed right in. That's why you can't beat a Heath. Pick up a carton today. Also... Hi, I'm Danny Thomas. Do you smoke and wear dentures like me? Then use Super Strength Smoker's Polyvent. It gets tough tobacco stains super clean. New Chuck Wagon brand dog food from Purina is here. Now with the big new taste of gravy. New Chuck Wagon gravy is here. Sugar-free country time drink mix. Pre-sweetened with 100% NutraSweet for that country time taste sugar-free. Tastes like good old-fashioned lemonade. Stakes are high. One mistake and Chris retains the championship. So it pays to go slow. Please, right there. Play your cards right. And you might win the show. Lower than the queen! Yeah! On Card Sharks, Wild Game, Witty Poetry. Next on Game Show Network. Jack Barry and Dan Enright Productions.